Hello, Heather Nobles here with Semper Fi Design. And today I had the pleasure of finally getting to meet Scott Lish um, from Heroes Homes. And I've heard so much about him um, doing great things. They're doing a lot to help heroes get in homes. Um, and Scott is a hero himself. So if you would, Scott, tell us a little bit about Heroes Homes. Well, Heroes Homes uh, is a organization that's all around, uh, surrounded by uh, real estate. So we're focused on real estate. And, you know, we don't just help uh, heroes, but when we work with the regular uh, clients as well, that helps us to help heroes. Uh, we, we recognize all kinds of people as heroes. You know, our, our school teachers are heroes, our pastors, uh, leaders in the community, uh, but also our armed forces, military, uh, firefighters, uh, police officers, ML, uh, M um, emergency services uh, personnel, those people serve the community, serve people, serve our country. Uh, they get paid, but not really, really well, and, um, and I consider them heroes. Me too. I definitely consider um, anyone that serves in that capacity a hero, and um, I'm excited for what you're doing because that's great that, you know, you can deal with real estate and also um, help them. You were explaining to me earlier that you're able to help them get in there with some different. Um, yeah, so uh, last year we were able to help uh, several people get into homes. And our heroes, when, when we work with them, we, we do our best to make sure that they can get in a home. Most of the time, many times, there's a home that they need to be in, but they can't quite get there financially. So we help them with credits and different things to help them get into those homes or with some um, uh, strategic planning for their, for their financing. So last year, we were able to give away several thousand dollars to help people get into homes. This year, we've doubled that, well, almost tripled that. And next year, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to double again, and hopefully soon we'll be able to uh, maybe even give some homes away to some to some people. That's exciting, and it is so needed because um, we both know, I'm sure you feel it as well, um, whatever level you are in life, uh, it's getting harder. And it's yeah. really getting harder for the American families, um, for our heroes, for those starting out. Um, so to, to have a bridge like that is amazing, to be right. able to get in that home. Sometimes all it takes is just somebody spending that time. There may be a certain way you can do things that would make it, and they might have never known that. So right. thank you for what you do because um, having a home is one of the most special things for it's anyone. It's a staple. It's yes. a staple for life. My father was in the Navy. We traveled around the United States of America, around the world. Every two to three years, we'd move from one place to another, to another, to another, until my father retired, and he was also a pastor. And so we went from one pastorate to another pastorate. We didn't have a place to settle down. Uh, and there are, I was also a firefighter. And so I watched these guys who work 24 hours shifts, and they work, and they, you know, they, they really serve the community, serve the people, and they give their body for for, for this uh, uh, this work and and at the end of the day they don't they have to go from that one job to another job or a second or a third job try to make ends meet uh, it's hard it's difficult to get into a home uh, it's make it's even diff more difficult these days to get into a home and so we're trying to do everything we can to help those heroes get into homes and uh, we're trying to be as creative as possible to do that. We build new homes, we uh, do a lot of new construction and so that gives us a little bit of freedom to work inside of a budget and inside of, um, inside of that planning schedule to, to help them get into homes. And then everybody that comes in and, and purchases homes with us, they're actually paying uh, a percentage of that, uh, of our commission is going toward our heroes to help them get into homes. Well, thank you. Thank you for everything you do and, and all the aspects that you've served as well. Um, you know we're having this Veterans Freedom Festival, mm -hmm. and we've talked a little bit about how you feel about veterans today. Um, but why did you? Why do you think events like this are important where we're going to have resources out there for them as well um, for things like Heroes Homes and other um, different avenues such as the VA, 
um, that they may need and they may not go look after these type of resources if they weren't just right there. Yeah, well, you know, as I said, my father's in the Navy and so I saw people as I was growing up and, and everybody knows what those military uh, men and women do, but they don't necessarily know everything that they go through and everything that they experience. We can have an idea, but we, it's far from uh, a true picture of what they have experienced and those people need help uh, at times they need a lot of help and 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 sometimes it's just a good hand uh, so uh, you know those available resources are there for them um, and I believe that when we do things like this bringing the people together is important so people have like precious faith that's important but also Amen. people of like walks when a person has gone through the same places I've gone through we we have something to talk about I hate being alone. I don't want to be alone on anything that I do. Uh, but if I go alone and I know that somebody's gone through it with me, I, I, I still have somebody that I can communicate with, somebody I can talk with and commune with. It's very important. It's, it's very important to have somebody that you can talk to that's been where you've been, that knows what you know and have seen what you've seen. Exactly. I couldn't have said it better myself, and that's why I think it's so important. I mean, even if connections are made through families and friendships, some, right. sometimes that is the bridge that a veteran needs to save them from. You know, we don't know, like you said, what they've went through and what they're suffering for, and we talked yeah. a little bit about PTSD and how serious that is and how, you know, sometimes we it can come out of nowhere and we really don't know why. And so building a bridge and being there for each other as heroes and veterans and community and loving on each other, supporting yeah. each other, um, that is our safe space just like Heroes Homes. Um, having a home gives you that safe space. So maybe yeah. when everything in life, no matter what we try, we have that stress. We can't. It's right. hard to run away from that, whatever level you are, financially and otherwise. It's there. So having that um, comfort and stability of a home gives you a place to escape from that stress so you have somewhere to have peace yeah. and that's so important and friendships yeah. are like that too I think so um, right. I'm so excited that I got to meet you and talk and I'm excited to learn even more um, we're gonna we want to come over and take a look at some things you've got going on right yeah and hopefully we'll be able to share that um, as well so there's there's a lot of exciting things going on with um, Scott and Heroes Homes and also with the Veterans Freedom Festival. Scott, I hope you can come. Yes. I hope you'll be able to break away. I know you're busy, but I hope you get to be there with us on August the 12th. And we just want as many heroes, veterans, families, let's just come together, celebrate freedom, celebrate each other, have fun, love on each other, um, support our community and our businesses. And it's, gonna, it's just going to be a really great day. I just know the light is shining on this. Um, please like and share and subscribe on YouTube to this video. Share it. Go to Heroes Homes. Take a look at what Scott's doing. Mm. Um, support him. If you're looking for a home, contact him. I know he would be glad to help you. Um, so thank you so much for thank taking you. time and coming out. Is there anything that I may not have said that you'd like to say? I might not have asked. Well, uh, I think we've covered it. Uh, the, what we do is you know, we serve the community of all, of all shapes and sizes, uh, but our heart is definitely for, for our heroes, civil and, uh, and national heroes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thanks again, Scott. Y'all Thank join us next time for another interview.